In this video, we're going to look at laws of indices, and we're going to look at laws of indices up to the foundation paper. If you're doing GCSE higher, I recommend you watch the video Laws of Indices Advanced as well. So, first law of indices, y to the power of a times y to the power of b is equal to y to the power of a plus b. So you add the powers together. And this only works if you've got the same base number, so y and y. Okay, let's have a look and see why that works. So if we had y squared, and we multiplied that by y cubed, well, y squared is y times y. And y cubed is equal to y times y times y. And if we times these all together, we're going to have y times y times y times y times y, which should be equal to y to the power of 5, because there's 5 of them. Notice that if you add the powers, 2 plus 3, you get 5. So that's the first law of indices. Let's have a look at some examples. So w to the power of 3 times w to the power of 5. We add the powers together, so you're going to get w to the power of 8. If we had a to the power of minus 2, and we times that by a to the power of 5, well, again, you add the powers, minus 2 plus 5, well, that's 3, so you get a cubed. And sometimes you have numbers in front of the letters, so something like this, 2y to the power of 6 times 5y to the power of 4. Well, let's just multiply the two numbers together at the front. So 2 times the 5 is equal to 10. Now let's add the powers for y. So y to the power of 6 times y to the power of 4. Well, 6 plus 4, well, that's also 10. So the answer would be 10y to the power of 10. Okay, let's have a look at the next law of indices. So the next law is, if we're dividing, so if we had y to the power of a, and we divided by y to the power of b, you take away the power, so it would be y to the power of a minus b. Again, let's have a look and see why that works. So if we had y to the power of 5, and we divide that by y to the power of 3, well, y to the power of 5 is y times y times y times y times y. We're going to divide that by y cubed, which is y times y times y. Well, if we divide these, remember that if you divide a number by itself, you get 1. So y divided by y is 1, y divided by y is 1, and y divided by y is 1. So we're left with y times y. And y times y is y squared. So notice that if you do 5, take away the 3, you get 2, which is our answer. So notice that this reinforces the rule. y to the power of a divided by y to the power of b. You take away the power, so you get y to the power of a minus b. Let's have a look at some examples. So if we had something like w to the power of 8 divided by w to the power of 2, you take away the powers, so 8 take away 2 is 6, so it's w to the power of 6. Uh, you could have something like this, a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 6. So 4 take away 6, well 4 take away 6 is minus 2, so the answer is a to the power of minus 2. And again, sometimes you have numbers in front, uh, and also sometimes you can have the divide by sign written as a line like so, so you could have something like this, 24w to the power of 6 divided by 2w to the power of 2, or 2w squared. And you just divide the numbers at the front first of all, so 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. And then w to the 6 divided by w to the 2, you take away the power, so you're going to get w to the power of 4. So the answer would be 12w to the power of 4. Now, that also leads into an interesting result. y to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So any number to the power of 0 is always 1. And let's just have a look and see why that's the case. So if we had something like this, uh, y cubed divided by y cubed. Now, we should know from basic number skills that if you divide something by itself, you get 1. But also, using our previous law and what we've just looked at, remember, if you're dividing, you take away the powers. So 3 take away 3, well, that's equal to y to the power of 0. So that means that y to the power of 0 will have to equal 1. And that, that just means if you get any number to the power of 0, the answer is 1. So, for instance, if you had x to the power of 0, it's 1. If you had 10 to the power of 0, it's equal to 1. If you've got 25 to the power of 0, it's equal to 1. Okay? So any number to the power of 0 is 1. And our last law of indices, it, this, I like to call this one a power of a power. Okay, a power of a power. So if we had y to the power of a, all to the power of b, then the answer is y to the power of a b. That means you times the powers together. So that would mean, just it looks something like this. So if you had y uh, cubed, and then you squared that, well, you times the powers together, so it would be y to the power of 6. Again, let's just have a look and see why. So remember, squared means multiplied by itself. So we're squaring y cubed. So we're going to do y cubed times y cubed. 
and if you add the powers together, well, 3 plus 3 is 6. Notice that if you do 2 times uh, the 3 times the 2, it's also 6. So you just times the powers together, and then that would give you the answer. So, if you had something like this, y to the power of 4, all to the power of 5, then that would be y to the power of 20, so you times the powers together. Uh, the reason is you could write y to the power of 4 out 5 times and times them together and add the powers together, and then you'd get 20. Okay, you could also have something like this. You could have a to the power of 4, all to the power of minus 2. Again, you times the powers together, so you'd get a to the power of minus 8. And also, sometimes you might get numbers inside of the bracket, so it could be 2y cubed and then squared. And then what you do here is you take the number at the front and you do the power. So you we're going to do 2 squared, which is 4, and then it's y, and then you times the powers together, so that would be 3 times 2, which is 6. Let's just do one more example like that. So that I have something like this, um, 3y to the power of 5 cubed. Well, we're going to do 3 cubed. Well, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then we times the powers together for the y. So 5 times 3 is 15. So it's 27y to the power of 15.